Acts chapter 8 verse 1. The book of Acts, the 8th chapter verse 1. The Bible says, But you will receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witness of me in Jerusalem, in Judea, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And you will receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witness of me in Judea, in all Jerusalem, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. I want to say to you that the Lord wants to reach the whole world. God wants to reach the whole earth and is counting on you to reach the earth for him. The power of God is coming upon you that you may be able to reach the lost, that you may be able to reach those that have not been reached. God wants his grace is to be poured in all every part of the earth. God wants his grace to be poured in every part of the earth. Therefore, he wants to equip you with power that you may be able to spread his gospel to every part of the world. I pray for you today that you will have power to do exploit. Receive power for exploit. Receive power to do great things. Receive, receive power to reach unlimited, to reach limited places. Receive power to go beyond the ordinary. Receive power to go beyond your environment. Receive power to go beyond your circle. Yes, the power is for you to start from your circle, but you also need to go beyond your circle. I pray that the power to do great things, the power to do mighty things, they are yours today. In the name of Jesus, you will receive power for powerful things. You receive power today for great things. May the Holy Ghost come fresh upon you. May the Holy Ghost fall afresh upon you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Spirit of the Lord fill you with His power that you may be able to reach those around you and also to reach those that are far off from you with the grace of God, by the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, power is yours today. Receive power today. And may the Spirit of the Lord visit you. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you.